Alright, welcome to Highland Homesteading. Today we're going to be feeding the chickens. We got some new food that came in the mail, so we'll be showing you that and uh, just give you kind of a general tour. September so we've uh, got some new videos we're gonna be putting up for you guys but um, just kind of wanted to give you a quick uh, showing of what we got going on and how the chickens are doing here they are they're doing work today they are in the chicken tractor there's olive and foggy you got Skippy over there so uh, the chickens are working we got tons of weeds you can see we've got lots of weeds up there that's a pumpkin right in there that just volunteered itself I think we had a lot of birds take our pumpkin seeds when we um, were doing composting last year and they dropped them all over the place so um, so these chickens have just been out here for a couple hours, still haven't finished up on the uh, grass seed heads over here. They should take care of most of that, I don't know if you can see that very well, focus more on the chicken wire there, but there we go, all of showing us how she eats the, the seed heads there. So the chickens have been great for taking care of the grass. Uh, that has sprung up during the monsoons here in Arizona. You can see this is where we had them yesterday. So you can see they they really uh, take the leaves off of the grass and uh, scratch it up and eat the seed heads and it's, it's looking great. We did have to um, take the weed whacker to a lot of this but it's been going good. So they are right there. We got them this new water over there. I think it's a five liter water, a, a purple base, and it's wider and doesn't tip over as easily. And uh, we really do need to rebuild this chicken tractor, but uh, we've got some other things going on, and soon we'll be um, changing some stuff up. So we'll share that with you when the time comes. So another thing that has been going on lately is that with all the monsoon rain, we have gotten some days three or four inches in an afternoon. Um, these sunflowers are just growing great. Look how big they are. They're probably like 10 feet tall. Just crazy how big they are. And then we have some ones that aren't so big over here. But uh, what I was going to show you is just that we have this drainage ditch down here and it comes from up above we've got overflow from our rainwater harvesting system and it goes down underneath all these sunflowers down here and uh, it ends up down here where we um, boys decided that they wanted to capture some of this rainwater and I'm all about it but it was just flowing straight down the hill so they decided to start building a small little dam so here's the dam and uh, it's just wide enough to walk on it's a little narrow right there but uh, it actually filled up with quite a bit of water uh, a few rains ago it's dried out now we haven't gotten any rain for a couple weeks uh, enough to really fill this up so uh, it's pretty interesting we left the sunflowers here and there uh, we got a couple of them but uh, they're doing great. We also have these globe mallows that have sprung up all over the property and they are just awesome. Really love these flowers. So 
we left them when we did some um, weed whacking around the property. Um, we also have some of these Indian paint brushes here. It's a really cool flower, native flower here, and uh, it springs up all over the place. So I've tried to leave those as well. And uh, yeah, we've got uh, quite a bit of um, different things going on here on the property. Some great um, composting. We've done the uh, wire cylinders, so you can see those here. So um, been filling those up with weeds that we've pulled, as well as some cardboard and some browns that we have. Uh, Here's what one of those looks like that we put into uh, this compost bin. So um, we turned it over and this was what was at the bottom. So it um, actually turns over pretty quick. We've also got this bigger compost bin just finishing up here and uh, it's looking real good. We uh, try to save compost as much as we can. Um, we haven't used a whole bunch of it lately just because um, the garden has kind of been in full swing and uh, we haven't been replanting many of those rows. So that is um, why we have so much compost right now. But we'll be um, putting in more fall stuff here real soon. We've already put in some, but uh, we'll be putting in more of that fall stuff and using that compost then. And of course in the spring as well. So, uh, we take you back over to where we got the chicken feed and we'll take a look at that. Alright, so just be clear, Grubly hasn't uh, sent us any of this food for free and we're not associated with them at all. Uh, we just really like their food. So uh, we'll go and throw this in with the chickens. But uh, leave a comment down below with what kind of food you like to feed your chickens and why. That would be great to know. Uh, we're always looking to improve our techniques and our food and quality of life for our chickens and for ourselves. So leave us a comment down below for that. And let's get going. Fill up the feeder for the chickens. Alright, we filled up the feeder. Gonna go over and check the eggs. Let's see how many chickens have laid. Now we picked up some ch chicken eggs this morning out of the coop. But we gotta check and see if there's any more right now. They actually laid 10 eggs for us yesterday, so that was pretty impressive. Let's see, we got two. I hear these two are fake. See, uh, those two are fake over there. Here's two. So one of those was just recently laid. We also have uh, this metal chafing dish we put in here because Cloudy keeps laying her egg down below. And look at that. We got two more here as well. So that one's fake as well as this one. And those fake eggs do seem to be keeping our chickens from actually predating on their their eggs or their their friends eggs um, but they aren't uh, <laughs> they aren't all laying uh, where they should be these lay boxes are great by the way I forget uh, where we got them from maybe premier one 
but uh, they just bolt on right there. They slide onto those um, screws that we put in the wall, and uh, the eggs just travel down here. We did have uh, bedding in these before, uh, nesting pads, but we found out that they were just getting uh, moved around too much and uh, weren't really benefiting us all that much. So we don't use them anymore. Uh, this fly trap is working amazing, by the way. This pop fly trap, highly recommend it. It's catching a bunch of flies. We've gotten uh, a lot more flies lately uh, with the monsoonal rain. So um, it has helped quite a bit to reduce the number of flies. They're not all gone, but most of them are. So that is great. That's the point. To reduce those number of flies so I'll go not a whole bag uh, not a whole 30 pound bag fit in that feeder so I gotta put the rest of it in now but I just wanted to give you guys a quick video about kind of day in the life what it's like when we get new feed um, picking up chicken eggs having our chickens work for us but I'm Nick from Highland Homestay thanks so much for watching we'll have more videos for you real soon